melody itself what I thought we'd do is look at the pegiated chords um, that are in the intro and uh, the chord we're starting off with nice kind of magazine cover chord there it's B add 4 or B add 11 um, now what I'm actually playing here is my middle finger is going to play 7th fret of the E string and my 4th finger plays 9th uh, fret of the D string my 3rd finger plays 8th fret of the G and my 1st finger stretches so it's at the 5th fret of the B string there. And to get that stretch, I've lowered my thumb right down at the back of the neck there. So, that's our chord, B add 4 or B add 11. And the strings I'm actually going to be picking, E string, D string, then G, then B, then G, and then D again. Uh, and we've got a very, very, very light pan mute on this. I'm kind of alternate picking it here, or you could do it all with downs, or you know, whatever feels comfortable. Now, when I'm actually moving into this chord, the sequence of fingers I kind of think about are middle, then fourth, then third, and then the first last, which is kind of the sequence you want to be picking it. That way, it's, it's, it's a bit easier to move into the chord rather than trying to put them all down at the same time. Next chord is this which is an E major 13th. What I'm playing here is 1st finger, 4th fret, B string. 3rd finger's on, 6th fret of the D, and my 4th finger's on 6th fret of the G. And I'm picking the same strings as before. So it's like E, D, G, B, G, then D. But we just go up and down that once. And then the next chord is, this is an F sharp, sus4 so here. And what I'm doing here is, it's the same shape I was playing uh, for that E major 13th, but I move it down two frets, and then my thumb comes over the top to play that F sharp root note. Okay, and it's the same uh, picking pattern. I mean, just just go up and down that once as well. Okay, so if I put those three chords together, we have this. That's a kind of uh, two bar intro and we play that three times. Now after the third time we've come down to this. We now play this, keeping that same shape and now change the root note so it's a G sharp on the base of this F sharp sus4. So I'm playing that with a middle finger there. So it's exactly the same fingerings before, it's just now the bass note changes. Then after that we go back to our E major 13. And then the last two chords go F sharp sus4, F sharp. So I'm going back to the F sharp sus4 we played before, but now, just as a kind of little cadence at the end, I move from fourth finger, uh, fourth fret of the G string to middle finger or second finger, third fret of the G string. So I'm playing this little kind of F sharp chord here, so that goes. So after the fourth time, the whole kind of chord sequence goes. So the main melody itself is around about kind of eight bars long. It's just a little bit over. Uh, what we'll do is we'll break it down into its little kind of uh, melodic chunks. So the first chunk sounds like this. Okay. So what I'm doing here is uh, first finger starts off. Uh, playing the 4th fret of the B string and my 2nd finger plays 5th fret of the B string straight after that then what I'm going to do is grace note slide from the 5th to 7th fret so remember grace note slide is a very quick slide okay and that's something that crops up all the way through 
this melody, these little grace note slides, instead of going, which sounds okay, but it sounds a little bit flat, when you put a little slide in there, a little bit of phrasing, it just adds a little bit extra kind of dimension to it. So that's our first phrase. Then we go, so from here, I've changed my fingering a little bit. I'm going to slide uh, 7 to 9 fret grace note slide. So really I'm thinking of 9th fret on the B string as my note. So it goes on my 3rd finger. Then I go to 7th fret of the B string with my 1st finger. And there's a little rest there so it kind of goes a little, little gap. Then I go 5 on the B string with my 1st finger. And then I go 4th fret the B string. And if you want, you know, you can put a little little kind of pinch harmonic there and then the last few notes go second fret uh, sorry second finger fifth fret b string and my first finger slides four to six on the g string to kind of resolve that little phrase so if i put that together it goes next melodic chunk sounds like this Okay, so once again, loads of grace note slides in this bit. Um, starting off in the G string, sixth fret with my first finger, but what I'm doing is I'm grace note sliding to fourth fret, so that's really the note I'm thinking of. So it kind of goes with the first finger there. Then what I play is sixth fret the G string again with the th third finger. Then I'm going to grace note slide from there to the eighth fret. Okay, so that first bit kind of goes. Then from here, I'm going to grace note slide again, 8th to 9th fret with the 3rd finger. Then I go back to the 8th fret with the 3rd finger. Then I grace note slide 8 to 6. And then I play 4th fret the D string with the 1st finger. So you can see there's loads of grace note slides in that bit. So instead of going... You know, you have all these little slides that add that little bit of, uh, kind of phrasing to it. Okay, so slowly the first bit was... And then the next bit goes... So the next little melodic section sounds like this. Okay. So I start it off, my first finger is on 4th fret of the D string and I've got two little palm muted notes there with a little gap in between, a little rest. But it's really a build up to this note here, 4th fret of the G string with the first finger. A little bit of vibrato there, so it's kind of... Let me do it again. But now I'm going to grace note slide, 4 to 6. Okay, so that kind of goes... And then from here, it's a grace note slide from 6 to 8. And then a normal slide back down to 6. So it kind of goes... So when you put it together, the first bit you have... So the last little melodic chunk sounds like this. I start it off in batting across the 4th fret with the 1st finger here, so it kind of goes palm muted as well in this 1st note, 1st finger, 4th fret the G string. Then I play um, that B string with the 1st finger there obviously because I'm batting, but it's cut a little short, there's a little rest between the next few notes, so it kind of goes. Then I'm going to play 5-7 on the B string with my 1st and 3rd fingers. And they're little kind of staccato notes, so you cut them a little bit short. Then what I'm going to do is grace note slide with this 3rd finger to the 9th fret from the 7th. And then from here, I don't pick the string, basically I pull off 9 to 7. And I slide from 7 to 5 with the 1st finger. And I slide from 5 to 4 with the 1st finger. Hold that a little bit longer. And I slide from 4 to 2nd with the 1st finger. And then I end it off with a little grace note slide, 2nd finger slide in 3 to 4 kind of resolving on that note there that B on the G string ok so that kind of goes so if we put that melody together this is what we have 